Good morning, welcome to day 39 of my Munro challenge. Today I'm walking route number 42, which is up Sliok, uh, which translates to spear. So um, it's about three miles on the flat I can see on the map before it actually starts ramping. Actually a bit further because I've set off from the campsite. So I've decided to bring the mountain bike. What the map doesn't show is this so it's not cyclable really it's um just getting tangled in fern and bracken and uh, pulling my handlebars and it's very rocky so uh i'm actually pushing the bike which is harder work than it would have been walking so that's my first mistake of the day so uh anyway i'll check in further up the path best uh best made plans eh decided to dump the bike found a clearing so padlock the bike up on it in the heather <laughs> i'll pick it up on the way back uh, it's just getting tangled and it's not a path that i can mountain bike on a more skilled mountain biker would probably get through but that's not me there's sliok up in the clouds it's typical isn't it i've uh, dumped the bike and uh, everything opens up half a mile down the road <laughs> but it was, uh, it shouldn't have been brought. Anyway, that's me. There's a small cairn here um, where the path very faintly shoots off left, which I'm going to take rather than taking the uh, the obvious path right, which follows a burn. It's quite a well-worn path, actually. It was described as faint in the uh, guidebook, but and boggy, but well, it's not boggy but I suspect I suspect it could have been boggy if there'd been long periods of rain now then we're getting to the business part of the day starting to ramp get a bit steeper that wants a bad up to here but all of a sudden the, the inclines are getting steeper and steeper just looking back down the hill path rising very steeply making gradient quickly stunning views I thought I'd get a couple of views in case a cloud come in and there isn't one later in the day we're heading straight up there it plateaus a, a bit when you get around there around the col over there um, I'm expecting to see two small lockens in a minute when I get over that rise fortunately the clouds coming in not going out you can see why they call it the spear it's very uh, angular <laughs> so this is a trig point at Sleok but it's not the true top apparently apparently the true top's further further on it's about a meter higher so I need to go on and look for the true top. This is Sliok. This is the true top. The cheeky monkey. One metre higher. Very tricky navigation coming back. I'm heading back to the um, cairn. There's a cairn at about 930 metres. It's like a false summit if you like. So I'm heading back there, which is at the top of this rise. And then I've got the really steep, scree, zigzaggy descent down to the Lochan. 
So I've dropped below the cloud level. Just pan round. There's the cloud. It was very steep. You can see how steep it's been that we've climbed up. And I'm back on the plateau. Um, this is a, a plateau before it drops again. We'll just nip around that corner. I've just bumped into a chap here who was from Ripon, which is very close to where I actually live, which is a small world, isn't it? We've got a view all of a sudden. Wow. Unfortunately, the top's still in clouds. Very, very pleasant. Hi, welcome to day 39 of my Munro Challenge. Uh, today I walked route number 42. It's Tuesday the 7th of September. First of and foremost, don't take a mountain bike. I thought looking at the contours and the map, it might be a straightforward path to save myself about three miles out and three miles back. No. <laughs> um, so that's over with. So the route, uh, lovely day, beautiful mountain, beautiful scenery. Um, so it's fairly flat for the first maybe three miles ish. Um, then it rises it rises fairly steeply for quite some time up to a plateau um and it, it's kind of rocky boggy rocky uh rise so it probably about maybe a third of the walk up until this plateau is is on this um this sort of incline then um you get to the plateau it loops round uh the crest of the hill and um I would imagine it could be quite boggy up there. It wasn't, but I would imagine it could be. Uh, so you, you cross the plateau, plateau, it's quite a nice path, uh, ever so slightly rising to, to the to the top, uh, where you climb steeply out of the plateau and come to the Lockens. Um After which point it does rise, and it does rise very steeply, very sharply, it's quite rocky, it's quite sandy, um, and there's a myriad of paths going up. I followed one to the left, which looked to be the most prominent path, which zigzagged all the way up. It is extremely sandy and rocky, so it's, um, it's and steep. So I don't suppose it really matters which one you take, because they're all going upwards. Um, and eventually you come to a false summit and a cairn, um, I think it's about 930 metres. Um, so then you'll drop off of this and then rise again for maybe another 50 metres or so um, until you get to the trig point. Uh, the trig point surrounded by a wall. To all intensive purposes, the clouds are in, looks like you're at the top, um, but you're not. Um, you've got to drop again, ever so slightly, loop round and uh, the real top uh, has got a nice cairn um, and it's one metre higher than the trig point is further round. I was in clouds so I didn't see any of this so I had to rely on my map. Um, great, great day, great walk. Unfortunately I didn't get to see the views that I was anticipating. The forecast was good today and I chose to do the walk today because of forecast. So you get to see the Fisher Field round on a good day. You get to feel the, see the great wilderness. And I didn't get to see any of that. Uh, briefly on the steep, steeper section coming down, the two lockens that you walked to appeared out of the clouds. Absolutely stunning because you, you felt like you're going to fall off into them. By the time I got the camera out ready to record, the clouds had come back in, which is a shame. And then uh, obviously you get the stunning views of Loch Marie, which you uh, walked to and slightly round earlier on. Beautiful loch. Um, such a shame I didn't get to see the views. But there you go. The day for me, start, I started at the campsite um, in the in the uh, in in the town. So uh, it's slightly longer than um, you'd expect if you start at the car park. For me, it was 14.7 miles. It took me seven and a half hours. 
and there was 3,838 feet of ascent.